All right, guys, we're on another call here. Let me read you my work order. It's a one-story home, regular roof shingles, no crawl space, hearing activity inside the bathroom wall. There is an attic. A clean out may be a, an issue. Vent is fully accessible. Had several rodent companies already with no success. Uh, covered all of the entry points as well. He called out a plumber who suggested they might be entering through the waste system. We're gonna do a smoke test. It's a pretty small house, so it looks like the bathroom and the kitchen, all the plumbing is uh, sharing several walls. So let's um, let's get up on the roof. Let's go check things out, see what we can do to solve this. So there's the house here. See, it's a small, single story so it's going to be accessible from the roof there i'm sure the the fixtures at the very back of the property all right i'm going to get up on the roof check things out pedro's on his way but i called him and he said that uh, i can go ahead and get started so there's a single vent there uh, there's a vent right open so you see that right off the bat hired other rodent companies and uh this is not even secured Let's check this out here. I can't tell. Get my inspection mirror on that one. Yeah, that's covered for sure. See all that net right there? That looks good. Let's check this side. Yeah, perfect. There's another attic space here. Yeah, that looks good there. Yep, that's all good. Ooh, ooh. Oh, rodent, rodent urine. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna call the guys up right now. They haven't been up on the roof yet, and I'm gonna tell them to do a sniff check, and let's see which one they, uh, they choose. Here's another one here. Nope, one more right here. Nope, one more right here. Nope. Hey Thompson, come up here real quick. I want you to do a, a test for me. Okay. All right, so I want you to go to each of the roof vents and you tell me which one smells like rat urine. Okay. okay. Go to this one here. No. no. Okay. Go to this one. No. A little bit. What? Something. A little bit. You do it again. Let me see. Oof. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, that stinks. That one, that yeah. one, yeah. Okay, do this one. That one. That one, right? Yeah. For sure. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna bring the camera. I'm gonna run. Very distinctive smell. I'm surprised that he wasn't like completely like, oh, that's it right there. Cause that's very, very distinctive. Oh yeah, you see the cut, the, uh, the company here, the, took all this out right here. So they did all of this right here, but they failed on covering the roof vents. That just does not make any sense to me at all. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're gonna run the camera down this vent right here. See that right there? And now we're into the, uh, that's the city main right there, you guys. That's a city sewer right there. See that flow? That flow right there is from uh, everybody on this block using water. What's odd here though, see how you don't really see any, uh, I don't see any oil marks where they're coming up in. So I've, I've got to go down below, obviously, and um, check out the layout of the bathroom. But, uh, so that means that they could be coming in from a different source, perhaps the, the sewer main. Because again, I don't see any oil marks. A little bit right there, but I'm not, it's kind of hard to tell. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull the camera out, definitely do a smoke test. And I'm gonna meet Pedro right now and go down and look at that bathroom. Let's uh, meet Pedro and see what the issue is. Pedro! 
Hi, good morning. Good morning, nice to meet you. All right. So tell me a little bit about, we went up on the roof yeah. and I did a sniff check and I could tell that the rodents, uh, or the ro the other rodent company, mm -hmm. Pedro, they put a lot of wire mesh around areas where they were possibly getting into the attic? Yeah, yeah, that was the first initial idea. Okay. Thinking that they were coming in from the outside. Um, so they sealed off everything in little other spots. Inside the house? Yeah, inside the house, but they're, they're still coming in. So okay. last resort, they said it might be plumbing issue. Got it, yeah, because I, uh, before you got back home from work this morning, I went ahead and walked the roof, mm -hmm. and there's one vent that smells like rodent urine bad. Oh yeah. So I'm surprised they didn't cover the roof vents. Yeah, they didn't cover that. They didn't cover that. Yeah. When did you experience the, the rodents? Did you start seeing them in the house two or was it ago. hearing? Oh, two, uh, in the house. In the house. But through the walls, inside the walls. Okay. Do you mind walking me in and sure. see if we can take a look at what's inside the, or give me the layout? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, under underneath the kitchen here. Okay. It's really open. Okay. So we're thinking they go in, through, in and out through there. Okay. So hey, Juan, can you bring me the light? I just set up some traps so they can, uh, have you gotten anything with the traps yet? Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, two days ago, I mean, they, um, we started hearing them again. It was, it was, the last time we heard them was about three months ago. Okay. Or more. So we cleaned all that out and we're thinking all the way in the corner, they dug themselves down there too. Got it. And the bathroom uh, is behind here, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Let's take a look in here. Yeah, there's an opening there at the kitchen. Okay. They will come out through here. Cause this is an additional room. So they'll come out through that hole right there. But they oh. will be uh, covered here. Okay. That's a sewer clean out right there. Yeah. We're thinking they were going through there too. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Well, can we remove those so we can go inside there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll have my guys do that. Sure. But the bathroom. Okay. So we're thinking they were through the sink. And where are you hearing them mostly? Uh, so on this wall, okay, and the wall in the kitchen and the bathroom. Got it. So this wall for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that waste vent uh, comes up this wall right here and out that way right there. His clean out is on the other side of that wall there. Okay. So now I have a good layout. Good understanding of the layout. We're gonna go ahead and do the smoke test. So Pedro, I yep. think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do the. Um, I'm gonna open this up right here, gain oh, yeah. access to there. Sure, no problem. And then uh, we're gonna head up to the roof, and do the smoke test. Cool. When did you guys hear him last? Um, last did, night. Did on the no. 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 Two nights ago, when I caught one. I mean, two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah. Okay. I caught one, and there. My sister says she's the one that hears them the most. Okay. Definitely a source here for sure. Oh wait, there's a void right there. Kind of like a big void, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's where the tub is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, got it. it. So Let me get a better that light. hole was the plumbing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see right here, they're chewing on the base molding. Let's cut this out and let's, uh, that vent goes all the way up here, that four inch vent. That's where I want to do the smoke. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Hey, let's go make la comida. I did some. Oh, no. yeah. I did some. No. They're chewing on the waste and overflow right there. That's behind the tub. Look at that. So there's the kitchen wall right there. That wall right there, there's the tub waste and overflow. So unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, 
Okay, we're ready, Thompson. So here's the back, you guys, right here. So that all looks good there. And then, uh, that looks good. Yeah, they're, they're coming in through the sewer. That's why it's important when you're hearing any activity, that is the moment to, uh, to be proactive. The longer you let time go on, they're causing massive destruction. So a lot of people say, oh, let me just put a couple traps. And, uh, but after a week or so, if you're constantly getting those, those uh, noises and that activity, the sooner you can get it, and the sooner you can get the right people, the faster you can minimize the damage. What happened? The hose was not in there. The black bag. The hose? The, the main. Where'd it go, you guys? So apparently, we don't have the smoke hose. Somebody left it on another job. So that's going to put us in a massive delay here. Let me uh, figure out what we're going to do with that hose. We must have left it on the other sewer smoke job. That's why it's important that when we're running these calls, it's a lot of volume. But at the end of the day, we got to be mindful of all of our tools left on jobs why it's important to make sure when you guys are wrapping jobs up Juan, got to make sure that everything is put away. I know I've... We're about an hour away from our shop. The job where we think we left the hose is an hour away from here. So especially with LA traffic right now, it's going to be a little crazy, but we're going to go ahead and get the camera and just keep, keep moving forward here on the investigation. Bummer. Thompson's gonna bring the camera down right now. What I want to do is run the camera down down that wall cavity and see what we can do. I also want to drop it into where the uh, tub waste and overflow is because there could be a nest inside that area right there. It's gonna be nasty. That's underneath the tub right there. I'm gonna take it now over to the right to the right of the tub now. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, looks like they're, they're staying more towards the back here. Right there. Now I'm gonna put it down the kitchen wall. Here we go. Let me show you the wasted vent here. This is crazy how they chewed. See that? Big opening right there. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have Thompson run the run the drain. See if we hear any water. So I got the camera down there too, so we can see both angles. We're getting water down in the P-trap area because I have no idea if they if they chew through that. Oh yeah, see. Look at that water right there. Here, I'll bring you in. Oh yeah, tons of water. Got a massive leak. So look at that guys, unbelievable. So every time he's using the water, water's going underneath his slab. Pedro, can I show you something? Yeah. So is that tub used? Every day? Yeah. And the shower? Uh, this one, just my dad. That one more okay. often. Yeah. So the rats chewed through the piping of your tub. Mm -hmm. And every time you guys are using that tub, water's flowing underneath your house. Oh, For real? For real. Let me show you here. I have a camera there. Oh, there's a camera. Yeah. yeah see the camera there? Yeah. And I have some light there. So I'm going to show you when he runs the, uh, the tub you'll see the water flowing. See that water? This whole time, just... this whole time water's running every time you're using that tub. They possibly could be burrowing underneath your concrete somewhere and then traveling underneath the ground. Yeah. So the only gardening or landscaping with grass is here. I don't see any burrows on this side. Yeah, see the light right there? You should never see light. Move the light around. Yep, there it is right there. So 
we're able to see see the flashlight we might be able to get it through the kitchen kitchen wall here we know that the rodents are affecting yeah. this kitchen wall because the the tub is right here yeah yeah so um instead of ripping out the tub the less the least expensive way is to remove these kitchen cabinets okay and then obviously there's a broken pipe because they chewed through the pipe so this would be able to give us access into the concrete and behind there to to do any re plumbing repairs yeah Más barato para abrir este pared y este cabaneta porque todos los pipas at atrás ellos como se dice el uh -huh. yeah. tiene tiene um, casa de seguro la seguranza la seguranza yeah we have the insurance yeah yeah we may want to um, may want to talk to your agent to see if we can get you guys coverage yeah they do that yep okay. it, dep it depends on your policy okay yeah all right so we've uh, secured that I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up for today and um, we found it all right while we're wrapping up we couldn't do the smoke uh, the smoke test today because of the the hose but the good thing is didn't really need to because we found the issue underneath that tub smoke would have just burrowed out of there so there's no choice right now but to open that wall that kitchen wall up and um, get a, a, a true understanding of what's going on underneath that that soil there where all that water because there potentially could be burrowing and coming up through that and nesting underneath that tub I think that's what's happening but again we don't know that until that's all opened up so we're we're done for the day. Pedro works all night, so it kind of gives him a, some time to sleep all day. And um, I asked him to call the insurance company, and hopefully they have some coverage on this because it's going to be uh, it's going to be a little uh, it's going to be a big investment.